Hello everyone, Mrs. Davy here from the office. I'm going to be reading chapter three, Straying from the Topic. Where's dad? I asked my mom when Elfie and I sit down to dinner that night at six o'clock as usual. Oh, El Ray, mom says, carrying a bowl of spaghetti to the table. Don't you ever listen to me. I told you this morning, he's speaking at a conference in Utah over the weekend and then going hiking with a buddy. He'll be home late Tuesday. He went to Utah, Elfie says, almost squawking the question, without me? Why, what would you do in Utah? I asked my little sister. We don't know anyone there. I'd have fun, that's what Elfie says, staring hard at the spaghetti bowl. I always have fun. Do I have to eat salad too, or can I just eat this? She asks my mom. I had carrot sticks for lunch, she reminds her. Alfie is an optimist, which means she is another positive thinker. She's only four, exactly half my age, so she hasn't had that much experience with life yet. You have to eat salad too, mom tells her. Okay, says Alfie, but don't put anything weird on it, please. She adds quickly, seeing the look on our mother's face. Mom frowns. Just because it's Friday night and your father is away for the weekend, she says, that doesn't mean important things such as manners can go flying out the window. Yeah, Elway, Alfie says, trying to kick me under the table. That's Alfie speak for Elray. She was talking to you. I tell her, moving my legs away. I'm talking to both of you, Mom says, putting some bear salad in a little bowl for Alfie and then tossing the rest of the torn up lettuce with salad dressing. There, she says, sitting down, you may begin. And the three of us are quiet for a few minutes as we slurp up our noodles. Well, my mother doesn't slurp. She winds the noodles around her fork, but that's hard. Only grown-ups can do that. I clear my throat because I have something important to say. And my dad being gone means that this is the perfect time to say it. We should get an ATV, I say, looking at my plate. I try to sound like an ATV is something our family obviously needs. Only we have forgotten to buy one before now. Yeah, Elfie agrees. And we should put it in my room so I can watch anything I want in the middle of the night even. Mom dabs at her lips with her napkin, which doesn't even have any spaghetti sauce marks on it, even though we have been eating for almost five minutes. She smiles. I don't really see that happening, sweetie, she says to Alfie. You watch enough TV as it is. Not a TV, I say quickly, before Alfie can start arguing. An ATV. That's an all-terrain vehicle. Boo, Alfie murmurs, losing interest. I know what an ATV is, El Rey, my mother tells me. And I can't really see your father buying one, can you? Yes, I definitely can, I say. It would be useful when we're collecting rocks. You can have an ATV and still love the environment, you know. But don't you think your father's more likely to spend any extra money we might have paying bills or put it into your college savings account? She asks me, or even into our retirement fund? She adds, not looking very hopeful. Alfie looks up. Only grandma and grandpa's retire, she informs us. They're old and you're not old, mommy. Not that old. Alfie's kissing up for no reason, just to keep in practice, I guess. Well, thank you, Miss Alfie, Mom says, but your daddy and I will be old someday. Alfie looked at her, horrified. No, she says, I don't want an ATV, I interrupt, because we are straying from the topic, as Ms. Sanchez so often tells us, for the desert and the mountains and the beach. Lots of people have them. Name one. My mom challenges me. Jared's dad, I tell her. Ah, she says it like that because Jared and I have had some problems in the past, in the past few weeks even. 
I can tell my mom thinks I'm jealous of Jared and his ATV, which I am a little. Jared's lucky, Elfie says sadly, speaking to her last few noodles. You're telling me, I mutter. Well, mom says, I'll pass his suggestion along to your father when he gets home, El Rey. How about asking him when he calls tonight, I suggest, because that way my dad will have a chance to get used to the idea. Maybe he won't say no right away, at least. If I get a chance, Mom promises, but don't get your hopes up and finish your delicious salad. <laughs>